That's my friend, Jackson Pollock. Finally, it was just unendurable. What do you mean? It's suicide! Jackson Pollock didn't commit suicide. Oh, didn't he? Jackson Pollock died in a car accident. A man spends years getting drunk, day after day, hammered. Then he gets into an Oldsmobile convertible and races around the countryside like some lunatic. You tell me what that is, if not a lazy suicide. <laughs> Believe me, when I commit suicide, there won't be any doubt about it. <laughs> None of that mysterious crumbled car in a ditch gives me a headache. It's so boring. When you commit suicide. What? You said when I commit suicide. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You misheard. <clears throat> Let me tell you this about your hero. That man really confronted his tragedy. He was valiant in the face of it. He endured it as long as he could. Then he tried to recede from life. But how could he? He was Jackson Pollock. What was his tragedy? He became famous. Don't be glib. His muse evacuated. He grew tired of his form. He grew tired of himself. He lost faith in his viewers. You take your pick. He no longer believed there were any real human beings out there to look at pictures. How does that happen to a man? Better you should ask how occasionally it doesn't happen. I mean, he's an artist. He's in Life <coughs> Magazine. He's young, he has money, he's famous. Exactly my point. He is a schmuck from Wyoming who can paint. <laughs> Suddenly he's Jackson Pollock. He's a commodity. Let me tell you, kid, that old mobile convertible really did kill him. Not because it crashed. Because it existed. Why the fuck did Jackson Pollock have an Oldsmobile convertible? So artists should starve. Yes, I should starve! Except me. <laughs>